back to Mama Tried. I'm Juliette and today I have another toddler meal ideas video for you. Today's theme is creepy crawly. Now the whole month of October I'm going to be releasing a new toddler meal ideas video every Thursday and they're going to be themed for Halloween or for spooky season. So I really hope you enjoy. First, as always, I'm getting out all of my ingredients and for breakfast we are making some spider pancakes. At first, I was going to do a single batch of pancakes and then I decided to do a double batch. So that's why I blend and then start adding ingredients in again. But if you want the specific ingredients and everything, you can check it out in the video description. I've been putting in the recipes in the video description for you guys, all of the links for everything. So be sure that you're checking that out. But for a single batch of these spinach banana pancakes, you'll need two eggs, one banana, one handful of spinach, and half a cup of dry rolled oats. These are perfect to freeze and get out on a fast, busy morning. Luxie has loved these since she was a year old. If you haven't tried these yet, I would definitely try them. If your kids are weird about colors, you could try it with something else like blueberries or strawberries, or you could just leave it at the egg, banana, and oats. It's good just as is. I love to add the spinach for the extra nutrients, but I'm just blending everything up. It is super simple, and then I can put it straight on the heat. I've already preheated my griddle to medium high heat. Now I'm just adding some olive oil on top to make sure that the pancakes don't stick. And now I'm just going to try my best to make the pancakes even. You can tell that trying my best is not perfect, but I tried my best. The blender's a little heavy, okay? But anyways, once the tops of the pancakes get a little bubbly, that means it's time to flip those bad boys over. Once you flip them over, you just let them cook for about two minutes and then just repeat the process until you are all out of your green batter. While I'm waiting on all of these little mini pancakes to cook, I'm just peeling a medium sized apple and I'm going to be chopping up the apple so it can look like some spider legs. Now I'm just making little tiny dots with the pancake batter because these are going to be my spider eyes. Okay, so now we are going to be assembling the pancakes so that they look like spiders. So I'm going to be using sun butter. You can use whatever kind of butter that you like, whether it be peanut butter, almond butter, whatever. This is what we like. So I'm just putting a little bit on one side of a pancake and I'm going to use that as a glue. So that way I can put the legs on. And so the legs are going to be the apple slices and I'm just going to add those on the side. Then I'm going to be getting another pancake and putting the butter on one side of another pancake and adding it on top to secure the spider. And then I'm going to put my little spider eyes on top using the sun butter again as a glue. And there you have it, an ugly little green spider. By the way, these can totally look 100% better if you just make the legs actually look like legs and not like a crab. 
like I did. This was my first time attempting this and this was my idea. I didn't get it from anywhere. So, you know, it's just kind of trial and error and I should have done this first before filming, but I just, I thought it was going to be a great idea and I got ahead of myself. But anyways, you could definitely make it look a lot cuter, you know, just make the legs a little skinnier, maybe half the size or even a third of the size that I did. Spider pancakes. What? What's that mean? It's um, your banana pancakes and it's got the butter on it and apples. What do you think? Okay, go ahead and sit down in your chair and eat your food. Well, can I have food on? Yeah, I can turn it on for you while you eat, okay? As long as you eat your food, don't play with it. Just eat it. There you go. to today's sponsor which is new yes new yes is an amazon seller and they sent me some products to share with you guys so let's just go ahead and jump into it so first of all they sent me this lcd drawing pad like i said you can purchase these things on amazon i'll leave the links in the video description but i love this little drawing pad so much so it's very thin and it just comes in handy for so many different things so Luxie can use this to draw and play with, or I can use it for work if I just need to jot down a few notes for the day or like a to-do list and simply erase it at the end of the day. So it helps save paper and it's great for the environment, I think. So if you're going on a road trip or going out to eat or you're going on a plane, you don't want to lug around a bunch of pencils and crayons and coloring books with you. And all you have to do to get your kid plugged into some creativity and entertain is just bring this little tablet with you. This LCD drawing pad is super sleek. You can fit it in a bag really easily. And the pin attaches here at the bottom, so all you have to do is just pull it out. So I'm glad that it has a spot specifically for the pin, so that way you don't lose it. But I really like it because you can draw whatever you want right here and just simply hit the erase button and it's gone. Now, if you're worried and you put something down that you don't want to be erased, like by your toddler, let's say I wrote a to-do list down for today, there's actually a lock option on this, so you can just, um, draw whatever you need to draw hit the lock button and when you hit the delete button it doesn't go away so all you have to do is unlock it and then you can delete so i really like this little drawing pad i think it's super cute they also sent me this really cool label maker and it actually has an app so you can connect it to your phone and print whatever you want on it let me show you
For lunch, we're having spiderweb pizzas. So of course, I'm getting out all of my ingredients first. Then I'm going to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Now I'm going to take out my tortillas and put them on an elevated rack. Now I'm just adding a little bit of olive oil on top of each tortilla and I'm going to spread it around and let that cook in the oven for about five minutes. While I'm waiting on the oven to preheat, I'm just going to start slicing some mozzarella cheese in very slim, slim? thin slices. <laughs> you could also use um, some mozzarella cheese sticks and just pull them apart. That would probably be much easier. Now I'm just taking out two pepperonis per little pizza, so a total of six pepperonis. And then I'm going to be using my strawberry shaped little cutter that, you know, my favorite cutters that I got from Amazon. I talk about them, I think, in every video. But it kind of looked like a spider to me, so I just used that one uh, to make them smaller. If you're using a bigger tortilla or doing something like a bigger pizza, you could use the whole pepperoni or the mini pepperonis. But since I had these, I wanted to cut them out into smaller little spider bodies. Luxie's showing you guys my favorite marinara, Rao's marinara. Now that the tortillas are a little crispy, I'm gonna go ahead and put some of the Rouse marinara on top and spread all of that around and then add my cheese to make it look like a spooky spider web. Now I'm just adding on my pepperonis and I'm going to let that cook for about five minutes. Now that they are done cooking, I'm just going to be adding on the details on the little spiders. So I'm just using some black gel food coloring to make the legs and the eyes for the spiders. Now 
Now I'm just going to be using a pizza cutter to cut up my little spiderweb pizza and you may need to adjust the sizes that you're cutting based on the age of your child. So just keep that in mind. It's time for dinner, so I am just getting out all of my ingredients as I normally do. And I'm just going to be reheating these meatless meatballs from Gardein. So I'm just going to heat them up in some Rouse marinara since I had this left over. So I'm just using the rest of it. Don't mind me beating the jar to get the rest of the sauce out. So I'm just going to put six of these in here. Luxie is only going to get one or two. Um, because they're pretty big, but I'm going to eat the rest, so yeah. Now I have two big old carrots that I'm going to be taking the top layer off with a little potato peeler, or in my case, carrot peeler. And wow, I sound really Texan right now. Let me try and switch it up. So I have my carrots and I'm going to be chopping them up and making some spider legs. This may be my greatest idea yet. Stay tuned. I don't know how long I can keep this voice up, but I'm going to try my best, okay? So do you see the technique in my cutting skills right now? I got my knives from Aldi, in case you're wondering. I get questions, actually. I do. I really do get questions about those knives all the time, and I got them from Aldi in like a set for $12.99. Amazing. Anyways, do you see those spider legs? I don't know if anybody's done this before. Everything that I did in today's video, I literally came up with last minute. You know, I did. So I don't know if I'm brilliant or if I should have never made this video. Y'all tell me in the comments, but please be nice, please. I can't take any negativity. No, I can't. Now with the rest of the carrot, I'm going to be chopping it up into little carrot sticks to put on the side with some ranch and for me to eat later, like tomorrow, as a snack or something. I really didn't feel like making that much rice because I don't really eat rice and so it would just be for Luxie. So I just used one of these little microwavable brown rice things that I picked up at Costco and I'm going to be mixing it up with some already chopped and cooked um, broccoli from the other day. And I'm going to be adding in some Parmesan cheese and mixing it up because my little lady, she loves some cheese. I don't know if y'all can tell or not. She's trying to steal cheese from me right now.
after the meatballs are done cooking, I'm just going to put them on the side and assemble the legs. So I had this brilliant idea to use a chopstick to go ahead and put holes in it before I put the carrot hole carrot hole before I put the carrots in them because I just feel like that would be a little bit of a nightmare so it's kind of like drilling a hole in something before you put the screw in you know that's what I did wow Now I'm just putting some candy eyes on there. Is that the best thing to give your child before bed? No. Is it really that big of a deal? Also, no. I could have used something else. I could have used teeny tiny pieces of carrot. That would have been pretty cool. But I think that those candy eyes look way cuter. So I'm just putting some rice down on the bottom for some like spooky, creepy, gravel type stuff for the spiders to be on or spider because I only could fit one in there because they're huge and then I'm just putting some ranch on Blech. I'm just putting some ranch on the side and there you have it a masterpiece are you hungry I'm hungry 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 you're hungry you're hungry you can dip your carrots in the ranch All right, thank you for watching today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps support my channel. And of course, be sure that you're subscribed with the bell notification on so that way you don't miss any of my videos. And if you want to, you can follow me over on Instagram. My handle is official. But that was everything, so I hope you have a creepy crawly day. Bye.